Hello everyone, it's the HD Tech Buzz here today, and today I'm doing a computer basics episode. If you haven't seen any of the previous ones and you'd like to check them out, I'll put a link in the video so you can go see them. So I haven't done one of these for a while and I hope to finish it up in the near future. And today we're going to be talking about one of the most important components of the computer. Well, I guess they're all important because without even one of them, or without having most of them, excluding a few special parts, you can't run the computer. But anyway, this is what I consider to be the biggest internal component of the computer. Today I'm going to be talking about the motherboard board okay so i put a picture up on the screen that's what it looks like depending on how old you are you may remember being a kid and you know you smash a computer and that's the first thing you see and you think wow what's this piece it's all green it's got uh, soldering marks on the bottom it looks really cool got a bunch of transistors on it and capacitors it's really cool to see but anyway what is the motherboard the motherboard is what connects all of the other computer components so the computer can function in essence and every motherboard has what's called a bus speed the bus speed is how quick information moves from one place to another on the components how fast information moves from one component to another and you know bus that makes complete sense you move on a bus to go from place to place and that's exactly what the information does on the motherboard's bus the motherboard handles many things it has the CPU housed usually dead center. It, the RAM is off to the side on the motherboard. The GPU connects to it. Oh, it manages the I.O. of the computer or most of the I.O. Unless if you have a graphics card, that is where your display ports will be located. But if not, most motherboards have integrated graphics where you can connect display ports directly to the motherboard on the I.O. The I.O. also always has USB on it with a few other in and out ports such as FireWire. You can connect PCI Express cards on a motherboard, which are basically external add-ons. An example of that would be, well, a GPU is one example. Another example, you could put a superior sound card on a PCI, but that's kind of outdated. Most people just use FireWire USB to have an external audio interface, but now we're getting off topic a little bit. Yeah, so what I was just trying to say was PCI is a way you can connect special external devices except inside the computer. Uh, you have motherboards that fit inside of big computer cases called ATX motherboards and then you have mobile motherboards and I don't know the term for that but that's what what would be the motherboard that would be inside your computer. A lot of times when you're buying one for a computer you'll have to look at several specifications such as how much RAM it can hold, the bus speed was something I already mentioned, how many USB ports and IO ports it has on it, and you also want to check what kind of computer case it mounts to. You'll have to check your computer case if you are building a computer that is. You'll have to check and see if it will support the motherboard you would like to put in it. So that's really all I wanted to say for this episode and I hope you understand what a motherboard is now or at least the basics of it because that's all I talk about in this series I do is just the basics. Anyway I'll see you guys later and I hope you enjoyed.